What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Uber Cooled Garage. On this week's episode, we're going to be getting the hood carbon fibered and working on some running boards. A couple other little things and we'll, uh, we'll just keep pushing forward on the bug. Hope you guys enjoy. Went ahead and got the quarter panel off of the actual quarter panel. Uh, it was quite difficult with the uh, with the lower scoop here. Uh, a lot of angles and everything. It took a little while to uh, to pop it all off, but other than that, it turned out really really nice. I'm gonna clean this up and. Then we'll cut the actual rear quarter panel off of the car and uh, we'll just keep moving. So I got some black paint on the hood. Uh, I'm gonna sand it down. That's gonna be the next carbon part. Uh, it's just gonna be the hood. Do one layer, one layer of carbon over the top of it, just for looks. It'll add a tiny bit of weight, but that is completely fine because most of the weight is towards the rear. So I need a little bit more weight in the front. That way it, uh, I'll get a pretty close to 50-50 weight distribution. And then I went ahead and put some stuff together. So then I can get a whole aspect look at the car. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing. Really, really, really like the way that this car is turning out. So we'll, uh, we'll keep pushing forward. It's uh, quite a bit of motivation right here to uh, get the car done. So it's starting to look really good. Tonight's project is gonna be the hood. Uh, I had to do one more skim coat of Bondo right here. So I'll sand that down. I'll uh, super hard hard sand the the hood. Get some good etches in there for the uh, resin to stick into. Uh, it'll also the carbon will also loop inside the hood to hold it, and then I have to do one more layer on top of this because I'm an idiot and cut the wrong section. So I gotta do one more layer on this whole top to get that section back and then I'll flip it over and do probably one more layer or two more layers on the inside. That way it's nice and strong. Uh, the outside of the glove box came out really good. So I still have to find sand. You can see some of the little uh, fish eyes in there. But uh, fine sand it and clear coat it. This is actually going to get one more layer. As you can see, there's got one of the, uh, the brush hairs inside the resin. So that'll get sanded down. It will get one more layer of carbon on it. So then it's nice and flat and smooth. I'll make sure that I don't do that again. And we'll get right into this. So I went and sanded the hood down with 50 grit. So you can see all of the super deep scratches. Uh, I did the whole entire hood. All the way over, uh, I went through and touched up some some spots that weren't black. That way the carbon 
since I'm only doing one layer, I didn't want the uh, any colors showing through the carbon. So that's why I went ahead and primered it black. So I'm not gonna fine sand that. That way it's a nice rough uh, surface for the resin to suck into. So that way it'll hold it. Uh, I also went through and scuffed the inside all the way along the edges where the carbon is going to wrap around. And then uh, that'll get flowed into the inside of the hood. That way it's got a nice, nice place to wrap around and hold on tight all the way around. So let's get to laying some resin. So I got the hood all trimmed up. Uh, it is still curing a little bit. So I just gotta keep pressing it in different spots, make sure everything everything stays down and where it needs to be. Uh, other than that, it turned out perfect. So I got it all cut. Uh, the resin will actually go down into the fender a little bit that way I can flow it out and smooth it out. That way it's nice, good, even section. So this turned out really, really, really good. Really like the way that this came out. So everything lined up really nice. All of the carbon is nice and straight. So uh, worked out perfect. I also got the second layer on the out or the inside of the box door. So that's curing as well. Once it cures up and stack, it tacks up and stays the way that it needs to go, we will be putting another coat of resin on all of it and then let that tack up a little bit and then put one more coat of resin on it. That way I got a nice thick layer to sand down to get it all nice and flat. And then after that we'll clear coat it. But it looks really, really good. So, moving right along. Got the glove box door all epoxied together. Uh, it turned out really, really nice. I need to uh, fine sand and then clear coat. But everything Everything turned out really nice. Everything went together very well, so just a fine sand and a clear coat on that, and the glove box is done. Fits in there nice. I have my, my lock on there. So that's it for that one.
got a coat of resin over the top of it. It uh, turned out really, really nice. Uh, you saw me just using the heat gun on top of it. That kind of helps level it out a little bit and gets rid of uh, any air bubbles that are in the resin itself. So as of right now, I am not seeing any that are super obvious. Uh, so this is thick enough that I can uh, fine sand it and then probably do one more coat of resin and then fine sand that again and then I'll clear coat it with once I get paint on the car and then I'll just clear coat the whole hood all together so then it's all nice and smooth no weird transitions so this turned out awesome can't really beat the uh, the wet carbon look so and also did more on the canard so that turned out really nice too just gotta find sand and clear coat that when I clear coat the rest of the car too so we're gonna just keep pushing forward hopefully get this thing ready ready for paint here pretty quick and then uh, then we'll get back into chassis stuff the hood's all dry now uh, it turned out super super nice nice and rock solid uh, as you can see I still have to fine sand it and then uh, once I clear coat it it'll be all nice and smooth but that'll be after paint and all that uh, also put some of the car together so it is turning out really really nice um, also messing around with side skirt ideas so this design was kind of taken from a rendering that has been going around quite a bit um, changed it up just a little bit uh, so I'm still playing with it I don't know if it's gonna come out that far or what I know my back tires are coming out of the fender further so it's kind of nice little arrow arrow design with the with the side skirts so it'll pretty much extend the flat bottom of the car out uh, also down here I have it so then it all of the air will scoop in this way in this section here and then flow up off of the back so still messing around with it I'll figure out how to do it uh, I think I'm gonna carbon fiber the whole thing so the full running board and that will all be one piece so we'll see how this turns out I'll update you if I change things and we'll get to getting that all set up. So I got the running boards laid out, uh, two layers of fiberglass. I will sand this down and probably do carbon over top of it just to add a little bit more strength. Uh, with the fiberglass there's not. There's only two layers, one mat and one uh, fabric. So. It won't add a ton of weight to the side, but these running boards are definitely going to have to be super strong. So, uh, the fiberglass will stay in there, and then I'm also going to do a foam, foam center core on the very bottom. And then when I do the carbon fiber, I will pull the carbon fiber all the way around the whole part. Uh, that way it'll bring in a ton of strength. That way, uh, if somebody 
goes to get in the car and they accidentally step on it, it's not going to snap right off. Or, you know, with all the wind turbulence and everything, uh, they're not going to rip off the side of the car. So it actually turned out super good. Really like the way that all of it looks with the, uh, the curve down here on the bottom. So I still have a couple things like this piece right here is lipped up. So that'll get sanded down once this dries up. Everything will get trimmed and then uh, I'll pull it off of the running board, get all everything cleaned up and trimmed and get it prepped for carbon. I'm actually out of, I don't have a piece of carbon big enough to do this. So this will be done the next order of carbon that I do. And then, uh, so we'll get to that when I get more carbon. But I will film the, the next process of this getting cut and everything will probably be in the next video. And then uh, we're looking pretty good. Alright guys, that's all I have left for you on this week's episode. Sorry this episode has taken so long to come out. I've uh, been really busy with work. And so hopefully... Hopefully things will lighten up so then we can get a little bit more work done on the bug and keep pushing forward. So next week's episode, we're going to probably go back to body work, maybe. Uh, and we'll start getting all that stuff situated. Maybe start working on interior stuff. And then uh, hopefully I get to order more carbon fiber here coming up pretty quick so then I can do the other door and rear quarter and then finish the running boards and then we will uh, be really close to paint and getting the body panels mounted so we will see you guys on the next episode uh, don't forget to like subscribe if you have any comments I will get back to you as soon as I can peace out guys